Michelle. Nice to have you on our set today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, this is our very, very first podcast, the Ensoleil podcast, and you are our first guest ever. Yay. So I'm so excited to have you on, and I want to talk about uh, what you do and the specialty that you uh, contribute to the world which is massage, but you do yeah. above and beyond <laughs> just massage. Uh, I want you to tell everybody a little bit how uh, special uh, what you do um, and, and, and that sort of thing okay. to our audience. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I've been a licensed massage therapist for over 17 years. I started with athletes. Mm -hmm. um, I started doing massage on the world tour of bodyboarding, Whoa. which is like the world tour of surfing. That's amazing. Yeah, I did that for, I think, nine years or wow. something crazy. Did you travel with them? I traveled um, wow. all over the world. It was really fun. Oh, and what a dream massaged job. on beaches. Oh my gosh. And when I came back, I decided to be a nanny uh -huh. to my massage therapist. Oh, wow. And when I hurt my back in college, I had a therapist work on me. Okay. And so she started to mentor me. And then I became a licensed massage therapist. Um, so um, while I was on tour, I was studying um, for my license. Mm -hmm. And then I started working with NFL players mostly, and then a lot of people in the music industry, mm -hmm. so a lot of entertainers and bands uh -huh. and dancers, right. production, wow. and so I kind of have just fallen all over, Yeah, and I do massage mainly now um, with NFL, NBA, um, some hockey players, mm -hmm. and a lot of entertainers. Amazing. So not so much normal people, but right. they're normal for me. Absolutely. That's that's exciting, you know, that you get that experience and exposure. What do you say your specialty, in, I mean, is it Swedish, or just depends on what they need? I mean, is it just more for relaxation or healing or right. of all of the above? I mean, tell me a little bit about the various massage techniques that you've um, I do a combination of everything, pretty much, I've learned. Not with everybody, but I do a Swedish base, mm -hmm. but deep tissue, lomi lomi, cranial sacral, mm -hmm. sports massage, yeah. Thai. Mm -hmm. I love Thai. That's um, incredible. I love doing active stretching mm -hmm. um, during the massage. I also do um, cupping, Graston. Wow which is similar to Gua Sha in a way. It's scraping of the skin with a tool. Okay, does that help with cellulite? Um, it helps with cellulite, okay. but it also helps with scar tissue, oh, okay. um, muscle tightness, yeah. blood flow, mm -hmm. and I do stretching, and for those who are women, I do a lot of pregnancy massage for like post and um, post pre and post. Uh -huh. So, and I also do infant massage. Wow. Yeah. I've never heard of infant massage. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So I, I love working with babies. Oh, and wow. I don't do a lot, uh -huh. but I do have some that, that I have so like clients cool. and I worked with all their kids. Yeah. And so yeah. it's really fun. I could see where that could be really helpful. And you had a baby just mm -hmm. recently, right? Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Amazing. A girl, right? A boy. A boy. <laughs> Amazing. So what do you what do you find about when you're massaging babies in particular? Um, you know, is it babies who um, are just normally cranky and crying and colicky and you just yep. try to get them to relax yep. and maybe sleep better and things like that? Exactly. Okay. All of the above. Yeah. Um, and I just love to do it because yeah. it's so fun. But so cool. Mostly if they're like colicky or have trouble sleeping. Awesome. Awesome. I just got back from Bali not too long ago and I think we had like an average of two massages a day. That's amazing. Very, very spoiled. So <laughs> Yes, that's what you would do there. Yeah, yeah, very much. Well, I can't wait to personally get a massage from you. And it sounds like you have a variety of techniques and that sort of thing mm -hmm. that um, are incredible. I want to talk a little bit about um, when you are working with your athletes, uh, in particular, let's say NFL, football, you know, people who are prone to more injury of the head, you know, I know that that's something you run across, right? Yeah, I've run across it quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I travel a lot with my clients mm -hmm. or to my clients. Yeah. Um, one story comes to mind, yeah. and I Love story. flew out to New York okay. for a client who had a concussion during season, and NFL protocol is very specific, and they're locked in their room for a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. and they have to take certain vitamins. Um, depends on the grade of the concussion, but 
I take it very seriously, mm -hmm. and most of my clients do, because yeah. um, yeah. their vision is out pretty much. Wow. And I mean, whether you have a brain injury or not, brain just being a concussion specifically, yeah. I feel like massage is so beneficial because you're uh, athletes, specifically an NFL player's necks are yeah. so locked up all the time. Absolutely. So I'm very like gentle with the neck, but yeah. also a little rough because it's so built up and yeah. um, tense up here. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. And their necks are like this big. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then so the spine, the neck, and yeah, the, tell us a little bit, I mean, do you incorporate the, the use of the cranial sacral? I do some cranial sacral, which is a little bit gentler mm -hmm. than just like a regular you yeah. know deep tissue massage yeah. and I do a little bit of cupping but usually after their protocol is over mm -hmm. I'll add in mm -hmm. my other tools that I use yeah. um but yeah I highly suggest getting massages <laughs> when you're in that state oh for sure yeah I mean just with that alone the body then responds so well to healing and as you know the circulation Right. is so vital to bringing blood flow back into that area. Yeah. The um one of the crazies I've been working with brains for 25 years plus or whatever all natural using neurofeedback brain optimization and one of my clients um had fallen from a lift at Home Depot, you know, and it's usually a cement floor, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, he came to me and uh wanting more holistic natural approaches and he, his head was like the size of a lampshade. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can't even begin to work on his brain with it inflamed as, right. as much. So I needed to resort to um, a light modality that we have. It's um, a low level polychromatic uh, light, uh, red light, blue light, and uh, infrared light. And that within one 20 minute session, like the, his brain was almost back <laughs> you know like in his head whatever uh so the light therapy to me when someone does have a a, a concussion or a brain injury is unbelievably miraculous because you know we have that injury and all the blood rushes and to that area mm -hmm. and i've seen even people who've had uh an injury whether it be on their ankle or in their head where and i'm sure you run into this too with your massage is that injury can have been 30 years ago mm -hmm. and it's not until you know you have something whether it's your hands or you know light that can break up the inflammation of the area right. and new blood can flow in that area and, and the benefit of the two of the lights it produces nitric oxide in the cells and that produces a 600 time healing rate uh than normal uh, but I just find that it's been so beneficial. I don't know if you do you use an, lights. I uh, have light therapy. light. Okay, and that's all all wavelengths of light. Yeah. Um, but I'm careful who I use it with uh -huh. too. So right. I use it, but even one of my guys who has a broken finger and it's mm -hmm. like this, and he won't get it fixed until he's retired because it's just going to get like that again. Oh, yeah. We used uh, it on him, uh, and I would just massage uh -huh. his finger right. with the light yeah. over it while I massaged mm -hmm. it, and by the end, his finger was straight. Mm -hmm. He's like, I need one of these lights. Mm -hmm. So he bought one and would use it mm -hmm. on himself yeah. because he doesn't need me there all right. the time. Right. But you need me there to massage yeah. it because yeah. he's not going to massage it right. himself. Right? Yeah. So. I love it. I'm here to for your finger uh -huh. massage. <laughs> that sounds but hilarious. It but it works. And that's amazing. That's awesome. Well, we were talking earlier, too, about uh, scars. You know, we all have injuries, uh, scars, etc. Tell us a little bit about, like, how massage therapy can help with scars. Um, I like to break things. Maybe people call, call people <laughs> tell me that I hurt them, oh. like I'm there to hurt you. Oh my gosh! Um, and I'm like, no, I just like to fix things. Mm -hmm. I'm a fixer, mm -hmm. so I'm brought in to fix people. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been told. Okay. So I like to fix them with my hands or a tool. So yeah. I use like a gua sha, which is usually a rose quartz stone that I use, mm -hmm. or I have a grass and tool, which is metal, it's okay. stainless steel. Mm -hmm. And I just scrape it on their skin, mm -hmm. wherever the scar is, yeah. and I break up that scar tissue. Yeah. Um, yes, I use my hands too, mm -hmm. 
but I use my hands to touch the skin, mm -hmm. to feel it, yeah. to feel where the energy is stuck. Yeah. And then I use a tool to break it up because yeah. my hands can't necessarily break up a thick scar. Right. And when you fix a thick scar, then you feel like the emotion that is stored there is now gone. That's remarkable. Yeah. So oh, I like oh, to fix be... I like to fix scars. That's incredible. Now I think a lot of people have have scars that they're not happy to show and right. maybe it's bad memory and all that stuff. So that makes a lot of sense, but you're also helping to heal them from the inside as well with mm -hmm. the emotions. That's pretty profound. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is really, really awesome. Any other um, thing that, that you'd like to add? Uh, we'd love to have you on your show again, but is Thank there you. any story or anything that uh, you'd like to say um, as we're wrapping up our show today? Um, I also work with people that have gone through addiction. Okay. Um, but also people who are sick. Okay. People who are going through like cancer treatment, mm -hmm. um, people who have ALS. Wow. And that's very close to me. My father had ALS. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people that have ALS have, um, I guess, muscle soreness, yeah. but they don't know how to deal with that. So. Gotcha. Yeah, That's we can amazing. speak on that. Absolutely. Time. <laughs> I really look forward to that. And thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. I can't wait to get my massage in. Thank you, everybody, for uh, watching us today. And we'll see you on our next episode of the Anselay Podcast.